Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat and I got some happy mail from my friend Denise. So um, I'm opening it and I'm going to apologize right now because I'm sick and as you can tell. So uh, sorry for the voice. Anyway, I did open it a little bit but I haven't totally broke the seal. It's just I was struggling a little bit opening it so I didn't want to, you know, you guys have to watch all that. And I don't want to show addresses or any of that so I'm trying to be careful. I feel so bad because my friend Allie in England sent me happy mail and it never got here. <laughs> I just, I feel so bad for her because, oh yeah, yeah, you go through all that and make stuff and do whatever and then pay to ship it and then it gets lost. <laughs> so, such a bummer. But this one made it and again, this is from Denise. Thank you so much, Denise. It's awesome. So I'm going to try to open this without cutting anything, <laughs> which I've done in the past. So I'm going to just start up here at the top. I'm really excited because um, I think I know what one of the things is. Yeah, I've got this stuff that my son had and my husband had, my daughter had. And uh, it, it, it was a real fun weekend. I did do some crafting though, so that's good. But it just stinks. I hate being sick because I still have to do everything else I always do. And... Uh, just makes it more difficult. <coughs> All right. So let's see, Denise, you're so bad. You don't have to do this. I feel bad. When you <laughs> send me stuff all the time, and I'm going to read that later. Uh. Okay, it says, friends are flowers that never fade. Oh, that's so sweet. Find the coolest boxes. They're really neat. She put in a little uh, glue bottle. <coughs> oh my goodness, Denise, you are so bad. This is just way too much stuff. I, oh. I mean, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I, I love all these things, but I just feel so bad. Uh, I just don't find stuff this cool to send people. These are really neat. They're like little like tickets and stuff. Those are really cool. Oh, those are awesome. Thank you. And these tickets, look at all of them. Oh my gosh. Some of these would have been great in my little clown thing that I was doing. I felt really bad because I struggled with that clown thing and I thought, what is wrong with me? Like, I feel like not right and I just felt like I couldn't get it together and do anything. And that, especially that last day that I was finishing it up. And it's because I was getting this stuff, I figured out, because I was getting fevers and didn't even realize it. Um, I just would get really bad headaches near the end of the day, and I figured out that that's what the problem was. Look at all these really cool tickets. These are awesome, Denise. Thank you so much. But yeah, I um, not bad fevers, just like 99, which, you know, isn't horrible. So it wasn't like I was horrible, but I just couldn't think, and I just felt off. And... <laughs> so that was the reason but I did I finished it and I like the way it turned out it just for some reason I felt like I couldn't get it the way I I don't know I don't know what the problem was I just couldn't think oh my gosh these are so cool I love this back here look at that with all that um, avocado dyed lace that's beautiful Denise you should sell like whole boxes just like this because that would be such a beautiful gift I mean, I would think anybody would like something like that. Any kind of crafter, because you could use it on a lot of things. Oh, this is the cool glue bottle she was talking about. And she said this doesn't fit right, I guess. Is it too loose? I don't know. i got to read the note a little bit better. But I think it'll be fine. It's really cool. Look at that. The charms on there. I've never had one of those. And there's a cat for a crafty cat. Thank you so much, Denise. That is really awesome. I see everybody with those. But like I said, I haven't ever done a whole lot of the jewelry stuff, so <coughs> I don't really know how to do that. This is beautiful lace. Avocado dyed. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you. This is like the shabby chic, chic box. Look at that. That is super cool. Love that. Thank you. Uh, 
This is beautiful too. This, it reminds me of like a little girl's dress. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, this is super pretty. These would be so cool because you could just, you know, do one, not take one off or whatever. Those are super awesome. Thank you. Oh, this old hanky, that's awesome. Look at that with all the hearts all over it. I don't think I could cut that one up. That is so neat. You find the coolest stuff. I try not to look too hard because I can't ever... I mean, I can buy a few things, but I can't go crazy, so i got to behave. I try not to look too much because then I want too many things. Oh, wow, this is really neat. It looks... Like it came off of, um, you know, like vintage clothes. Like it was cut off. That's really awesome. I think she said she just got uh, like a haul from <coughs> some place and uh, all kinds of vintage fabrics and stuff. So that's really cool that they took off of clothes. These look so neat with this paper. Some nice lace. Look at this one. That's beautiful the flowers on it. I don't know if you can see it very well. See the flowers. Super pretty. Oh wow, they, that's cool. Is that off of like a table runner or something? That's really neat. Those are old, you can tell. That's a lot of work. Wow. <coughs> the doily. Oh, this is the little funnel to fill my glue bottle. Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> And another pretty doily. That is so pretty. My goodness. <coughs> and that looks like it came off of like a collar or something. That's neat. My daughter has a dress that she bought, you know, like for 40s kind of a style thing. <coughs> and it kind of has a collar like that. This is beautiful. Wow. That would make, make a really cool pocket. That's beautiful. I have some journals coming up. That, that's probably where most of these are going to go. <sighs> if I can ever get my juju back. <laughs> <clears throat> that's beautiful too. That would be another piece that could make like a cool flap or a pocket or something. Super beautiful. And some thread on wooden spools, which I love. I like to do things um, when I needle felt sometimes with these wooden spools. Like put little mice on them and stuff like that. <laughs> Those are cool. <clears throat> oh, cool. She showed one of these books in her um, video. They're just really neat. All the images. And little prayers and things. Those are really cool. Thank you. That's awesome. And then some beautiful napkins. Oh, I'm so excited because I was trying to make some stuff. I just don't have a lot of great napkins. So that, that one's really cool. That's beautiful. Some toile. That's really neat. I don't ever see anything like that. That was really cool. Some corkscrews. That's cool. And tulips. We're getting close to that time of the year. I'm so happy because I love spring. <laughs> I love bulbs. <clears throat> and more tulips and a butterfly. Oh, these are awesome. Thank you so much, Denise. That was so nice of you. That's just a really neat little box, and I'll never probably ever make it look like you had it. <laughs> but, um, but that's an awesome little place to put things. I'm just going to set it in here. I'm not even going to attempt to make it look as pretty as she had it right now. I love these tickets. I'm going to set them over there because I'm afraid if I set them on top they'll get mashed or something. <coughs> I have my glue plate and everything over there. Uh, it doesn't have glue on it though. <laughs> Don't worry. I didn't just set it in glue. Uh, these old ledgers. I love these things. I used to go, my dad worked at the courthouse where I grew up, and I loved going in there and looking at the old ledgers, because they're just so cool, because they're huge, the, the really big ones, 
and I love the handwriting and nobody writes like that anymore and it, I think it's so sad like I just don't think we I know computers are the future but I just feel like we're gonna lose a lot if we don't you know keep teaching the kids how to do cursive and all that those are beautiful thank you so much I love that it's neat, like uh, four yards of lining, three spools of thread. <laughs> it's really cool. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I saw you going through these too. <coughs> uh, these are so cool, these stamps. Gold bonds. I didn't know that that's how this worked. I just never knew that this was how this all, I mean, I didn't know what I thought it was. I always heard about gold bonds, but I didn't have any idea that that's how it worked. The pages in here are really cool, too, because they're all yellowed. <coughs> that's awesome. <coughs> I keep saving. That reminded me. Because it's kind of the same kind of paper. These Bymart ads, I get them all the time, and I'm like, I like the feel of this paper. It's just, you know, but it, it's not smooth, so I like it. And I have a bunch of them, and I was kind of thinking they make cool glue books. I think they'd be good glue books. I don't know. <coughs> if any of you have ideas of what you can do with those, let me know, because I feel bad just throwing them out and stuff. These bags are really cool. Talk about, uh, like, that 60s, 70s vibe. Those are for sure. <laughs> totally. <laughs> wow. I found a Christmas card that looked a lot like that. Those are really awesome. That is so crazy to see all that again. It's hard to believe those colors <coughs> were ever as popular as they were together. Oh, this is it from Joann's. That's awesome. I never find stuff like this. I, I'm not kidding. Like, I don't know. You would think this area, it's fairly rural. And I would just think there would be better crafting places here and fabric stores and all that. And there just isn't. It's really weird to me. We're right outside of Boise. Um, but as you go a little further from us, there's a really small, very rural town called Marzing. And um, so I just feel like I'm amazed that there's not more crafting. I mean, we do have some, don't get me wrong. And we have Joann's, but our Joann's, I don't know, it just doesn't have very much selection. <coughs> 1960s, look at those clothes. These are really cool, Denise. I don't know why I love paper dolls so much. You know, I've always loved them my whole life because I just used to cut them out. I'd spend hours cutting out like Dolly Dingle and all them. These are cool because they're front and back. That's pretty amazing. And all the dresses. I wish they gave you more dolls, you know, when you get the... I mean, I know the whole idea is you change your clothes, but um, like when you're making stuff, you want, you want more of the doll. But that is... that's cool. Those are really nice. Very slicker, very slickery, so they'd probably last very well. That's awesome, thank you. They won't rip so easy as the paper, paper ones. That's awesome. And then these are the ones that I was excited about because I saw these. <coughs> she says, Hope you like these. Yeah, can you imagine me not? Uh, I want to open it, but I don't. <laughs> Is that silly? I wonder if I can do it without messing up this heart. I just need to see what they look like. Because they've been sealed for how, how long, I wonder how long or how old are these ones? I don't know. I mean they're designed from 1914 paper dolls, but you know, uh, clearly they're not that old. I'm, I'm thinking probably sometime in the 80s would be my thought. Oh, it says, yep, 86, 1986, right there at the bottom. So, yeah. 
<clears throat> I probably wasn't as into them then as I was when I was younger, but I know they were pretty big for a while. Okay, so somehow this hooks in here and I don't want to mess it up. Oh, that's the doll. Okay, so these are her clothes. Oh, this is cool. <coughs> so you could color those ones. That's really interesting. I've never seen, well, I mean, I've seen the ones you color, but it's really neat. Look at that. <coughs> I got thinking about these, Denise, because you mentioned you were going to send me these. And um, I thought they'd be kind of cool to do like a um, clipboard or something like that. Something that you could hang because they're really tall. They're 12, I think is what she said. Yeah. Almost 12. 12 inches, so yeah, they're tall. So like a clipboard would be cool <coughs> to do something with and um, use those. They're so cool. And then she sent this one too, and I won't take this one all apart right this mo moment. But aren't those awesome? Thank you so much. I'm really excited about those because I, like I said, now I have, I kind of have an idea in um, my head of what I want to do with them. I might end up hoarding one for a while and doing something with one because <laughs> that's kind of what I do. Well, I feel like, you know, a lot of this stuff, if we, which we'll never use at all, but you know, you kind of want to leave some for people in the future to do stuff with. These are really neat. I love that. That is beautiful. So yeah, thank you. That's awesome of you to do that. And again, you don't have to keep sending me stuff. <laughs> I mean, I really, really appreciate it and I love it. Just feel like it's a lot of stuff to send me. And the shipping, ay ay ay, you should at least let me pay the shipping on it if you're going to send me stuff, because that's crazy. There we go. So those are awesome. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it, and I really do appreciate your friendship, and it's not just because you buy me stuff. You're just an amazing lady to send me all this stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. I have a little show and tell I'm going to do real quick of something that I worked on. <coughs> this uh, weekend I just want to show you guys so that I want to talk about how I do these um, altered bingo cards and since I'm here I might as well do it so I made this one this weekend and um, I got from my friend Michelle in Nevada that I grew up with she sent me some really cool cards uh, like this and I've never seen these before and she said you can get them at Hobby Lobby in the sewing section, and that's probably why I haven't seen them, because I usually look for paper stuff in the paper, obviously. <coughs> so anyway, and that is what triggered me wanting to do um, another altered bingo card, and this one's kind of obviously a sewing theme. So I made a little cluster to go on the front there, and then um, this is, I took an old sewing pattern, uh, the envelope, Yeah, this one is part of one I cut, but this one's not as old as this one was with the little boys on it. I just didn't have the little girls in as old of one, but I cut out, I cut him out and put him on there. And then this is the, off the side, like it was running up the side over here that says it was 50 cents. And then this is out of an old work basket magazine, sewing scissors, free sewing scissors, and an old simplicity pattern picture. And this is out of a... What was it? <coughs> Can't remember. It's an old magazine. Um, good housekeeping or I don't know, something like that. But anyway, that's what that picture is out of. And then I put one of these cards in the inside. And I made it into kind of like a little mini journal, you know. And I just did a little stamping. This is that paper that I get from Amazon that already looks copy dyed or old or whatever. This is some deli paper. There's some stamps on there. And this is that old composition notebook paper that I have. Oh, it's almost gone. 
but yeah so I just kind of turned that into a little journal that slips into the pocket and she gave me the pocket and the um, those cards so that was really cool so I just used a piece of fabric Tim Holtz fabric and uh, you know made a hinge and then I put a pocket back here too I did some collaging back here these again are all this is that I gotta check what that is <coughs> sorry I, I didn't do that oh family circle that's what it was these old family circle magazines and then the work basket magazines so this is family circle this is work basket this is another piece of the, from the pattern uh, envelope you know on the back where it tells you the size and all that and then uh, this is out of that out of a work basket this is out of the family circle uh, just some fabric and I took all the little you know threads and junk and I've seen somebody else do this I think it was Gail Augustinelli at one point was using all the you know threads from the sewing machine and she got the idea somewhere and I don't know anyway that's where it comes from and then this is I was <coughs> folding up pattern paper um, yesterday morning and I saw these on one of them and they're like plackets and all I could think of was those look like tags <laughs> So I um, decoupaged them onto some manila folder and turned them into tags. So that's what these kind of weird shaped ones are. They're plackets for, um, you know, a shirt or whatever. And I just sewed some fabric on there and did a little collaged thing on them. And you can write on the back still. And then uh, this boy was on one of these, the envelope, you know, same as this little boy. So they were both on the same one. I just backed him with some manila folder so that he is not as thin and floppy. And this uh, pocket was made out of the back of the pattern envelope as well. And then this is just a tag <coughs> that I got from, I think, Nick the Booksmith. Did one of her like freebie things or whatever. And I just added some family circle. There it is, family circle. Um, add kind of paper and a dress form and then this is just a piece of ephemera that I had in my junk and then this little girl came off of this one and I know this one's not as old as the little boy one but I thought she she could fit for this because that's all I had for um, a girl so and then this is just some ephemera that has scissors and stuff just little tickets and this is just a piece of ephemera. It's like um, a sewing pattern envelope. I just shrunk the size down. And a Tim Holtz paper doll. And this is another one of the tags that I made. There's some more of the thread hanging out down there. These two just cracked me up. <coughs> That's out of the family circle. They're both holding the shirts. And she has like speed iron or like a thing on her dress. I just thought it was funny. And then um, just did fabrics kind of here and there, however, and stitched them on. And then this, ha I found this old Woolworths um, receipt inside of one of my old work basket magazines. And um, it's, the total is 45 cents. <laughs> and I just thought that was awesome. So I stuck it on there. And, um, and again, this is one of the placket things. And then on the back of this bingo card, I've just decoupaged. There's thread and lace and, you know, this uh, number from the pattern that was the little boy's, this pattern. I just stuck that on there. And this says 100 needles free. And there's just part of uh, simplicity. I can't, I think that was out of a magazine. And the size from that little boy's um, pattern. So I just kind of you know, did a whole collage. Oh, and this is the measuring tape. You know how they have the quick measure or whatever? Oh, this one doesn't have it, but they run right along here, so you can, you know, if you need it while you're at the store. And then this is part of one of Denise uh, Denise's snippet rolls that I bought from her, from her shop. So, yeah, that's that. So I just thought I'd share with you guys my crazy threads all over there and everything. I thought that was kind of fun. Not that, that it's never been done, but... Um, it's just fun to bring up stuff again so that you remember and use it because we all have a lot of this junk just floating around. It kind of made me, it reminded me of my desk. <laughs> I 
this desk right here when it gets crazy with snippets of this and that and paper and whatever I don't know so that's kind of what this background bingo card reminded me of just more of a sewing theme so anyways that will go on my Etsy shop so if you guys want to make one for yourselves though they're really not difficult just a bingo card and then like I said the plackets and just fabric and all kinds of goodies on there so yeah I just thought I would share it with you because that's what I did all day yesterday <coughs> so anyway I hope you all have an awesome day and thank you Denise I really do appreciate it and it will go to good use so, like I said I have a couple journals if I can get myself talked into it I'm liking these smaller projects right now and I'm not sure why that is but um i'm gonna try to tackle another journal <laughs> so anyways i will talk to y'all later have an awesome day bye bye now